are you tucked up in bed with a sherry and a mince pie? Then I shall begin. It was the night before Christmas, and all was decidedly unwell, for Father Christmas and his elves had been locked up in a cell, for they were making merry in the square of St. Berry. The authorities thought much graver and charged them with antisocial behavior. And who would have thought it started with a kiss? But old Father Crimbo thought it would never come to this. Stood in his wares beside the monument of a cherub in the square, he saw himself a lassie, and did fancy her quite the hussy, and after a chit and a chat and a guinness or two, he found himself getting up to a bit of the old chim chimney to But Santa's wife had sent a spy to make sure he didn't have more than an eye for the mince pie. Then with gumption did said wife appear, mounted astride a reserved reindeer. With zealous heart she stormed up to the girl, slapped her in the face, and pulled her curls, before dragging poor Father Christmas by the beard and throwing him into the firing line of a peeing cherub. Oh, how the onlookers laughed at the frightful sight of a stumbling Santa drunk to the night. Well, this did not do. Did not do at all. And so ensued a mighty brawl. Elves loyal to the Crimbo King around this crowd were circling. Now stop this, cried Mrs. Christmas, thinking herself as if their mother. But the elves did not give her this, that, or other, for they saw invitation to play, kick, and cuss, and partake in such tomfoolery as would make a girl blush. A blonde vixen passed Elf Harry. He proposed, but the girl did not wish to marry. He did not take kindly to her, and did throw a plum pudding in her face. She picked him up by the breeches, kicking and yelping. Favour this he did not, and so gave her a second helping. Another three of Santa's little sprites set upon wrapping a man up in pantyhose and left him blindfolded with sprouts up his nose. Well, upon hearing the clamour, from out of his flat appeared the town crier and the town crier's cat. Hear ye! Hear ye! But his cries were soon turned to waste by the thwack of a catapulted elf to the face. Then sirens wailed. The old bills on their way, and the jolly entourage realized they had outgrown their stay. Come, Father Christmas, we must up and away. Impossible, said the reindeer with a drunken neigh. Dear Dasher and Dancer were out for the count, by way of consuming three barrels of stout. Oh dear, tis pity, and what are to do, as the fate-sealing curtains draw in on our once merry crew. And so to the sights of a handcuffed Santa being ushered into a patrol vehicle along with his crestfallen elves. We must leave this dastardly place. And all it remains for me to do is to wish you a merry Christmas. Farewell. Adieu.